Hi, Dr. Grimes. I have been having some headaches lately, and my face gets flushed at times. Can you explain what could be going on? Well, Mr. Lyons, you have some symptoms of high blood pressure. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the force of which blood pushes against the inside walls of the arteries in your body. Arteries are tiny tubes that carry nutrient and oxygen-rich blood throughout your body. Blood pressure is measured using two numbers. The top number is called the systolic pressure, and the bottom number is called the diastolic pressure. Normal blood pressure is a systolic pressure less than 140, and diastolic pressure less than 90. Systolic pressure is the pressure of the blood in the arteries when the heart is beating, and diastolic pressure is the pressure of the blood in the arteries when the heart is resting between beats. Between heartbeats, the blood pressure does not drop to zero because there is resistance in the blood vessels. If your heart were to stop, the blood pressure would slowly go down to zero over a minute or two. What happens when blood pressure remains too high? The arteries in our body are normally flexible and elastic to allow blood to pass through smoothly. When blood pressure is too high, a person goes in a state called hypertension. Hypertension is defined as abnormally high blood pressure. In hypertension, there is too much force inside the artery walls due to high blood pressure. This increased pressure could damage the artery walls, causing parts of the wall to rupture. Additionally, ruptured parts of the wall result in rough spots where plaque can accumulate and block the artery eventually. This makes the heart pump harder to allow blood to go around the plaque, increasing the blood pressure even more. If untreated, hypertension can cause chronic kidney disease, prevent blood from reaching the brain, heart failure, and bleeding within the brain. There is also a phenomenon called white coat hypertension. White coat hypertension occurs when someone's blood pressure becomes much higher in a clinical environment than at home. This may be because some people feel more nervous in a medical environment, and so their blood pressure may be high. Doctors understand this and do not confirm that the patient has hypertension. But Dr. Grimes, what causes hypertension? Many of the causes of hypertension are unknown, and this is referred to as essential hypertension. Some people have a genetically determined brain setting for their blood pressure. As a result, some people have higher blood pressure than others. Risk factors also include age, smoking, excess salt consumption, unhealthy diet, and alcohol consumption. Okay, thanks doctor. Are there any ways to prevent hypertension? Mr. Lyons, to be honest with you, the key is to make the right choices to your lifestyle. First of all, it is very important to do physical activity regularly. Regular physical activity strengthens the heart so that it can pump more blood with less effort. As a result, your blood pressure will be lowered. Secondly, it is crucial that you eat a diet with less salt or sodium content. A diet high in sodium will increase your blood pressure because more water has to be added to the blood to balance sodium concentration in the blood. A diet low in sodium will prevent excess water from entering the blood and preventing high blood pressure. Thirdly, it is very important to eat foods low in saturated and trans fats. This also means eating fewer chocolate bars, avoiding butter, and avoiding eating too much fast food. Consumption of highly fatty foods causes plaque formation in arteries, contributing to blocked arteries and increased blood pressure. It is also important to quit smoking. Smoking only damages the artery walls and makes them hard and rough instead of smooth and flexible. Smoking also thickens our blood, which increases blood pressure as a result. Lastly, it is very important to avoid drinking alcohol as it contributes to weight gain, which is a risk factor for hypertension. Your doctor will also provide necessary medication if you do have hypertension. Okay, thanks doctor.